Hello everyone, welcome to the part 1 video of Mathematics Form 3, Chapter 4. And this time we are going to look at scale drawings. So what are scale drawings? Actually we see scale drawings uh, every day from the map to the building of floor plan to the drawings of an object. So scale drawing is the drawing of an object with all measurements in the drawing proportional to the measurement of the object. So what does the proportional to the measurement of the object means? So here we look at an example. Let's say we have an object here with this shape. And when I try to draw the object, I can draw it so that it has a smaller size than the original object. Smaller size here means you look at the sides here, you have one and two units. But here, when I draw, I draw only half, which is only one unit. I have two units here. When I draw, I only draw half of it, which is one unit. The same applies to the other sides. We have six units here. When I draw, I only draw three units, which is half of the object. So every side is half of the original size of the object. Or I can draw so that it has the same size, two units, two units, two units, two units. So all the sides have the same uh, measurement. And I also can draw it so that it has a bigger size. Here we have two units. When I draw, I draw four units, which is double the size of the original object. So all the sides here is double compared to the original size of that object. When I want to draw a smaller size of object, all the sides is halved. When I draw, when I want to draw the bigger size of the object, all the sides are double. So this is the idea of proportional. So all these are called scale drawings. So we look at another example here, an object, the same object. And when I draw, I draw it this way. Is this a scale drawing? We compare all the sides. We have two sides, there are two units here, two units. And when it comes to this side, I only have one unit, whereas this has two units, the original side. Hence, for this side, it is the uh, same size. For this side, it is half. So the sides are not proportional to the size of the object. So all the sides here are not proportional, hence this is not a scale drawing. Now, what is scale? So we, we draw scale drawings based on a certain scale. What does this mean? Remember the, uh, uh, the previous example? When I draw this, it is half the size of the object. This is the same size, this is double the size. So when it is half the size, the scale is half. When it is double the size, the scale is double, is two. So how do we calculate the scale actually? We use this formula. The, when we want to calculate the value of the scale, it is equal to the measurement of the scale drawing over or divide by the measurement of the object. We look at the example. So now we have an object here and the scale drawings, my scale drawings here. The measurement of a scale drawing means we take one side and then we measure it. So for this case, it has four units. And then the measurement of the object, we take the same, we take the corresponding side, this side here, we take this side, we measure how many units, we have two units. So the measurement of the scale drawing is four, the measurement of the object is two, so we take four divided by two. So we have 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2. So the value of the scale is 2. Means my drawing, the scale drawing, is double the size of the object. In this case here, scale is shown in a value form. But usually, we prefer scale in the ratio form. So we look at the uh, formula again. Scale equals to measurement of scale drawing over measurement of object. And remember, for a fraction, we can always express the fraction in the ratio form. So, scale equals to measurement of scale drawing to the measurement of the object. For example, for this case, the same example just now, if you want to show the scale in the measurement uh, in the ratio form, it will be the measurement of scale drawing is four units here, so it will be four here and then two here. Measurement of the object is two units. Four is to two. But of course, for ratio, we always need to simplify it. So 
we double uh, we divide by two for both sides we get two is to one the simplest form of the ratio so we usually write the scale for scale drawings in the form of one is to n where n is a positive integer or fraction this is a more common way of writing a scale so one here means one unit on the scale drawing and n here means n units on the object and remember the n is always a positive integer or a fraction so now we look at example one one unit on the scale drawing is to two units on the object so on the scale drawing when you have one unit here we know that the object actually is two units so one unit of the scale drawing represents two units of the object three units so three times two it represents six units of the original object so can you please compare the size of the scale drawing and the object in the scale example one so the object is this and the scale drawing is this so when you compare you see the size of the scale drawing is smaller than the size of the object when the ratio or the scale is one is to one one unit of the scale drawing equals or uh, represents sorry one unit on the so the one unit on the scale drawing represents one unit on the object so what can you say about the size yeah one unit here one okay let's uh, look at the base here the base has one unit two three four and five so what can you say about the base of the object here is also five units so basically when you compare the size they have the same size the example where the end here is fraction so one unit on a scale drawing represents half units on the object so if i have a scale drawing of this what do you think uh, about the size of the object okay the size of the object is smaller so one unit here of the scale drawing represents half unit half only of the object so the second unit here will represent the second half so that's why when you have a six unit here one two three four five six here it will be only three units for the object so when we compare the size we see that the scale drawing is bigger than the object so if we try to do a summary on these three examples based on the scale and the size of the scale drawing and the size of the object we can see that when the n is greater than one for example two here for the first example the size of the scale drawing is smaller you may rewind to example one to look at it again okay? it is smaller than the size of the object when it's one when n is one one to one one is to one they have the same size and when n is less than one remember n must be a positive value and if it is less than one it must be a fraction and so based on the example three just now we see that the scale drawing is bigger and the size object is smaller so if this confuses you look at the values of the ratio if the value here is bigger remember this part represents the object hence the object has a bigger size for this case both same value same size for this case value 1 is bigger than value 1 over 2 well half okay value 1 is bigger than 1 over 2 which is half so 1 here represents the measurement of the scale drawing so it means that the scale drawing has a bigger size so we try a few exercises here diagram shows a trapezium a b c d and a scale drawing a prime b prime c prime d prime so this time um, this is the object this is a scale drawing you draw the scale drawing based on this object and we the question asks you to state the scale used in here in the form of one is to n so we use this formula measurement of scale drawing over measurement of object so we take any any one side from the scale drawing for the scale drawing first so let's say we take a prime to b prime how many units are there here there are two units and the corresponding side here a to b is the measurement of object we have four units so two divided by four two divided by four 
So we have 2 divided by 4, we simplify becomes 1 over 2. But remember, it says the state the scale in the in this form. Hence, you need to rewrite this in the ratio form, which is 1 here is to 2. Exercise number 2. Diagram shows an object A, B, C, D, E and a scale drawing A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, E prime. So state the scale used in the form of 1 is to n. So again, we are going to use the formula uh, where this is the object, this is scale drawing. So let's say we take this part, this side. So measurement of the scale drawing here for this side is 1, 2, 3, 3 units. And the measurement of object for the corresponding the same side uh, is 2 units. So it's 3 over 2, 2 units here. So it's 3 over 2, but we need to write in the form of 1 is to n. Hence, the scale is this, but remember we need to write in this form where this is 1, means the 3 here have to be simplified to 1. So we need to di divide 3 with 3 so that you get 1. Hence, the 3 here you need to divide with 3. And both sides have to divide by 3. 3 divided by 3, you get 1. 2 divided by 3. 2 divided by 3, we leave it as a fraction, in a fraction form. So this is the answer. When you see this scale, you know that 1 here is bigger than 2 over 3. It means the scale drawing has a bigger size than the object. We double check. Is it correct? The scale drawing has a bigger size than the object. Yes, it is true. Now we go to exercise number 3. Diagram shows an object M, N, O, P. This is object. And the scale drawing M prime, N prime, O prime, P prime. So for the, uh, this exercise is different than the previous exercise because the grid used is different. The grid size is different. Here the grid size is 1 cm. Here the grid size is 2 cm. So you cannot use the number of units anymore. You need to use the measurement here. So now state the scale in the form 1 is to n. So remember the formula is scale equals to measurement of scale drawing over measurement of object. So scale drawing here, let's say if we take n prime to n prime. So, so what is the length here? It's 2 cm plus 2 cm, so it's 4 cm. And the corresponding sides here is 1 cm plus 1, so it's 2. So here is 4 cm, here is 2 cm. So it's 4 divided by 2. Scale drawing over object. 4 divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2, simplify it, you get 2 over 1. But then remember, we want it to be in a 1 is to n form. Yeah, when we write in a ratio form. So what should we do with, with this 2 here? We divide by 2. When you divide by 2 here, 1 also divide by 2. 2 divided by 2, you get 1. So 1 is to 1 over 2. So we double check. This one is for the scale drawing. One is bigger than one over two, the value. So it means the scale drawing is bigger than the object. So the scale drawing is bigger than object? Yes, it's true. Hence, the ratio is correct. We go to the last exercise. Given a map with scale one is to 20,000, calculate the actual length in kilometer of a distance of six centimeter on the map. So this time, we try to use the scale in a real life problem. So we look at the question again. It says we want to calculate the actual length of a distance of 6 cm on the map. So we come back to this scale again. The one here represents the scale drawing. So here, map is the scale drawing. And the 20,000 represents the actual length. Actual. Uh, this is scale drawing, this is the actual length. So 6 cm of the scale drawing represents how, uh, how much of the actual length. So we look at uh, method number 1. 1 is to 20,000 means 1 cm on the map of the scale drawing represents 20,000 cm 20, of the actual length. So 6 cm on the map represents how many centimeters? By understanding if 1 cm represents this much, 6 cm means this times 6. 20,000 cm, 20, cm times 6, you get 120 cm, 120,000 cm. 
but the question asks you to convert to kilometers so centimeter to kilometer is divide by 10,000 10,000 you get 1.2 kilometers I'm not going into details on the conversion part and how about method number two with the same question method number two you present the scale in the fraction form so scale is one is to 20,000 in the fraction form and then remember this the formula of the scale is this so the measurement of the scale drawing here for for now is six centimeter so here is six and we want to find the measurement of the object which is the actual length since the, since the scale is the same this equals to this so we try to form this and then we solve this to find the actual length so to solve this we just cross multiply actual length times 1 20,000 times 6 we solve it using what you learn in linear equation okay this times this 20,000 20, 20, times 6 so you get 1 times actual length equals to 6 times 20,000 and then you get actual length is 120 cent thousand centimeter and it is equals to 1.2 kilometers so this is the part one of uh, the scale drawing chapter four i'll see you in the part two video thank you everyone